So my name is Emil Sire. Uh, I'm a software engineer. I've been building software for the past 23 years, 17 years of this, being a full stack engineer, and around seven or eight years of that uh, building uh, AI applications uh, for SMEs uh, in Germany. And for the past two and a half years, um, I've been building AI agents, uh, especially voice AI agents. Um, when you talk about building voice AI agents in early 2023, uh, this is really, really an um, old story in the timescale of AI agents because it's a totally new thing. So let me tell you my story on my website. You can also go in and check it out yourself. Uh, the reason I'm telling you my story is so that you can connect with me personally. Otherwise, if you don't know me personally, probably you will not listen to the rest of this tutorial series. It's not about bragging, it's just about telling you where I come from and what matters the most to me. And why am I putting this entire tutorial series uh, for free? You'll get to know it from literally next seconds. So if you go to the About page uh, and scroll all the way to the bottom, um, you will get to know stuff from here. So my education is, um, I'm originally from Afghanistan. Um, I was like literally two years old when my family had to migrate to Pakistan because of the Russian-Afghanistan war. So in the year 2000, I did a so-called diploma in information technology where we learn how to build things with Visual Basic 6. Uh, this was pretty early in time. And then I did a bachelor's degree in computer science in 2007 uh, in Afghanistan, English medium, all um, Pakistani and Indian professors teaching in English medium. Uh, it was a four years old, a four years long software engineering diploma. It is 2015 when I decide to leave Afghanistan, I get a scholarship from this renowned body called DAD for doing a master's in AI. Uh, it's called it's web science, but a lot of machine learning and AI. I drop out in third semester for the success of my startups, which you'll get to know a little bit in, in a minute. What I really like is to share the story about this picture. Look at this. This is probably 2002 or 2001 when I started coding. That's me. That's my brother Mahmoud. This is my brother Walid. And what is so cool about this picture is this book, this chair, and the paint in the wall. Like you can see the paint in the wall. We didn't have enough money to paint the wall. But what you can see is we had enough money to buy two computers. And that's so emotionally motivating to me that education has been the core of what we have done and for the past 23 years of me building software you'll you'll see me talking more about myself but this was the core of it it started from there and then fast forward i'm building software for the government for the gtz this is the german um, organization in 2005 and i'm young and i'm building software i started my first company in 2008 a software development agency in afghanistan where i built um, web and mobile applications for the Afghanistan government through the agencies helping. I work for USAID. Uh, I work for Ministry of uh, uh, Finance, <clears throat> a World Bank program, and so on and so forth. And I started my studies in Koblenz University in Germany. I migrate to Germany. But I drop out for my startup. Uh, and this is me before losing 20 kilograms <laughs> and taking care of my diet. Uh, but what happens throughout all these years, this is one of my uh, bootstrapped startups, an asynchronous uh, communication platform and so on. But this is what matters the most. In January 2023, I go all in on a startup idea um, after bringing a lot of savings from all these big companies where I worked for Klarna, Siemens, Allianz, and this $300 million scale up. I'm the director of engineering and I'm building a lot of software leading two teams 
and basically uh, from my agency at the time, Smart Geeks, and the the whole model of the Smart Geeks is that I am providing these extremely talented developers, the top two percent. I bring all those savings to this startup, um, and I work like I don't know eighty ninety hours a week, uh, and also a lot of my savings. And this is a voice AI agent that connects to your tools. And this is early 2023. And we go through Techstars Acceleration Program. That's my demo there. You can watch it later, a demo of the software. On the Chatbot Summit in London, in Valander, doing the pitches. And this is the MVP, some screenshots from there. We're basically building this uh, science fiction of talking cars. You use this software while driving, we're targeting the um, salespeople on the road, uh, and we're building them a software that basically helps them to do their CRM documentation. With a little bit of ev evaluation from this industry, we found out that like a lot of them have a lot of problems on the road. They usually do side stops, and then they really need a software, a, a software that connects to their systems. Um, and at this time, I find something that really works well, and I find n So this is our software, like literally everything else. Here, I'm experimenting with n It's mid-2023 when I got into it. And with a little bit of evolution of this, all of their having actual clients from the industry, we say that, well, actually, cars are cool, but you can take it anywhere. Like it's sitting in your phone. You can take it anywhere. You can walk your dog and lay back on your sofa and you keep using your software. And that's when I, somebody told me to watch this movie. It sounds so much like Car 2013 from Ephraim Phoenix's movie. And we're building the software. We're building a startup. But unfortunately, um, it really hurts when you see things do not work as, a, as an entrepreneur, as a software um, developer, when you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into building something. I remember uh, VoiceKit um, having like a latency of nine seconds in the start, and at peak levels, it had like um, latency of uh, 500 milliseconds when you built everything from the scratch. There was no VAPI. There was no... Um, 11 labs at the time, and we literally built everything from the scratch. And I learn a lot from this experience. And what I do now is besides being a freelance um, AI engineer and also working on an agency model, I go and put myself into the vulnerable thing, start a YouTube channel. You can access it. Well, you're already on my YouTube channel. <laughs> And I give workshops, uh, and these workshops work very, very well. The next one is going to happen on 26th and 27th of July, depending on when you're watching this video. And these workshops go really big. Uh, look at that. Almost 450 people registered. All of my workshops happen in person. We meet each other, and we have like a lot of fun. And also, um, we streamline it. Like, uh, sorry, stream it. Uh, on our YouTube, uh, on my YouTube uh, channel. <clears throat> Long story short, um, I failed in my startup, but as a principal software engineer, having a bachelor's degree in computer science and a master's degree, almost master's degree, I dropped out of my third semester. I would like to bring that knowledge to the world. And democratize AI education. The reason I do it is because of that picture of me in 2001 or two with my brothers, because AI education in Peshawar, Pakistan, was easy for us as refugees. We could get access to education, computer education. Today, I am where I am. Um, I don't want to brag. I make good money. I am based in Germany. Uh, but a lot of people are not, be it in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in India, in Bangladesh, or in developing countries. Learning a little bit will take them a long way. 
Today, everyone with an internet connection, with a laptop, and with a bank account can earn money. And my uh, YouTube is there to help the rest of us. Everyone who wants to become a programmer and do not have a, the means of paying uh, for the expensive boot camps, um, they will get a lot of free content from my side. And the entire focus of my content is across three little uh, boxes. NA10 for building agentic workflows, Vibe coding so that you can build digital products, web and mobile applications, and AI agents so you can build AI agents, mainly voice AI agents, but also other types of AI agents. So that was my story. Let's get to building this amazing voice AI agent that we call it Samantha.